mountain sky was my big empty factory, the Lorax, and I. The Lorax said nothing, just gave me a glance, just gave me a very sad, sad backward glance as he lifted himself by the seat of his pants, and I'll, I'll never forget the grim look on his face when he heisted himself and took leave of this place through a hole in the smog without leaving a mm. trace. Brando Wise here, slash Jeff, and today I'm doing a, I'm doing something different, I'm doing a profile piece on a local band. The local band is a very, very awesome band called The Pribs, who I'm very good friends with, the lead singer slash guitar player guy. The Pribs were, they came in third place in a CBC uh, local talent radio contest, I think like two years ago, and they just released their first album last summer in August after having a couple concerts over the years. I am good friends with the, the lead singer, Hayden Dallison, and he's actually joining me today for a very special interview. So, without further ado, let's go find out what makes the parades tick. Alrighty, so here I am with my very special guest, one Mr. H. Dog Dallison. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Broham the Wise, and uh, you all should know me for my fame, because I'm famous. He's famous, he's actually, you're probably the most famous person I've ever met. I'm probably the most famous person. So, uh, tell me, how did the parade start? It was a magical day. Um, we, we all, we were not born like humans were. We, there was no, uh, man-woman reproduction thing. We were just kind of, we came into being, and at that point, we became the parade. So, in many ways, the guys have always been the parade today. No. Oh. Um, but, yes. So what has been the band's journey? Uh, been a long one, quite the distance we've traversed, both physically and ephemerally. In playing music, and we have touched the hands of gods, we have fought with the beasts of many different dimensions. And uh, I think we've come out on top, really. I mean, it's, it's a, hindsight's always 20-20, right? Yeah, but foresight is 40-40. What was it like when you guys got that record deal? Um, it was alright. It's kind of a footnote, a footnote in, really? in the history that is going to be the era of the praise. Okay. Just the sheer greatness that will uh, come up from the prints imprinted in the ground from our mighty boots will leave the record deal, though great as it is, hmm. we, we need to be heard. Ah, uh, I see. We need to be heard. And thank you so much, Don. You are for some reason watching this vlog or giving us the record deal. But cityscapes that will rise up from underneath our boot heels as we traverse the uh, lands and the walks of time will be greater than anyone can ever imagine. Those are some, some lofty, lofty goals. I don't know what that means. Oh. So if that was a footnote, what would you say has been like an actual stepping stone? I'd say this interview is going to skyrocket us into the level that we deserve to be. Well, I am a very popular YouTuber. I have, I have a beer stein with my face on it. You do have a beer stein with your face on it, and that is fantastic. It's I've seen the beer stein. It's glorious. You've heard it from H. Dog Dalsman himself. Don't call me that. Call him Hayden. What genre of music would you say you are? Uh, we don't like that word. Genre? Music. Oh. How many praves does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. So, um, what exactly is a prave? Uh, I am not at liberty to say. Not at liberty to say? Yeah. I, any questions about the name? Sorry. Here's a good one. How long have we been friends for? Uh, in human years? Sure. Probably about 14 years. 14? 
That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, what would that be in prey beers? Uh, so minuscule, it's not even worth measuring. Oh, okay. I got you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, lastly, to conclude this little interview, he doesn't know this yet, but he is going to write to the Broham the Wise slash Jeff Beam song. Genius at work right here. Uh, once was a man named Broham the Wise. He often looked silly in his feral disguise. He made a out in the countryside. And I don't f***ing know where the sun is going And Bohan the Wise cannot go undescribed Everybody in the world Concludes my interview with. I can't call you H Bone. What should I call you? Um. Let me think on that. All right. Well, this concludes my interview with the guy from the Prabes that I have known for a very Don't long time. Don't call him that either. Um. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you. So that was the interview for the Prabes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did. I think. Not entirely sure. I'll get back to you on that one. But yes, that is really all for me today. Uh, Mass Effect 3 comes out Tuesday. Holy crap. Oh my god. What? So expect my... Don't expect anything from me for like a week or so. Because I'm a guy. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat it. But just don't expect anything from me. When I beat it, I'll do a review for it. You can expect that. At, that much at least. I might do a little vlog while I'm at the launch event on Monday night. But we'll, we'll see what happens. That might not happen. That may happen. I don't know. Stay tuned to find out! But yeah, that is all for me today. So without further ado, Broham the Wise slash Jeff Adam. Broham the Wise cannot go undescribed. Everybody in the world.